Welcome back, ladies and gents, to Metroid Zero Mission Part 2. And they call it Zero Mission because it's Samus' first mission. So then why is it not called First Mission? <laughs> <laughs> because Nintendo's trying to be clever! It's Gosh. not working. Do I remember to go up there? Mm, do I remember to go up there? Oh wait, I forgot. I don't have the. Uh, you don't have the ledge. The ledge. Well, y you can. Oh. You might be able to get up there if you wall jump, but you decide. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, there's a missile. There's a missile tank up there, but I decided. You know, I'll wait till I get the power group. Missiles aren't worth my time. Do they know who I am? <laughs> Does this planet know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> not. Not yet. It doesn't know yet. Anyway. It will soon enough. Ah, so now acid means nothing to me. Well, you did, like you said, you did secrets break, so. It's weird. It protects you against acid, but does it protect you against lava? Does the gravity suit do that? Yes, it protects. Yeah, gravity suit protects you against lava. Okay. And it's weird too because in, in Super Metroid, um, they have acid and then they have superheated lava or superheated. Acid. Superheated lava. Yes. So it's just hotter <laughs> lava. Basically, like the gravity suit will protect the gravity suit will protect you against the acid, but if you go to superheated lava, it doesn't. Superheated lava. Yeah, I don't get it either. Isn't that just lava anyway? <laughs> <laughs> so what? Did somebody just it. drop hot sauce in it or something? Well, not just hot sauce, but also Kool Aid. <laughs> Red Kool Aid. <laughs> Fucking Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't drank Kool-Aid in years. Same. I mean, I like, I like it. No I, I like it, but <laughs> damn. See, now I have two markers on. <laughs> I have two markers on. So, um, yeah. What was it about Kool-Aid again? Uh, it's good, but I just haven't drank it in a in a long time. Like okay, neither have I. So I guess the stereotype no longer applies. That's a stupid stereotype, by the way. I don't know. Yeah, don't ask. Don't, don't That's ask a stupid either. goddamn stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> so, the thing, the, the thing about the charge shot, uh, the nice thing about the charge shot, I can't talk. Um, if you're doing a flip like that while, while having a charge shot, you kind of do a pseudo screw attack. Yeah, I believe that like, feature is also in um, Super Metroid as well, I believe. And Fusion. And Fusion. So some enemies, so some enemies, like if you see, so if you wonder why some enemies just completely explode upon touch, upon me touching them, it's because I'm using that technique. Or they're just very, very scared of Samus, whichever one comes first. <laughs> Samus. Oh! Well, then again, to be <laughs> fair, I mean, considering the considering in Samus's universe, I think anyone should be terrified of if they even see her around. It's like <laughs> I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Wait for it. Oh, right, this is another sequence break. You need the power grip for this. Ow. Move out of the way, you slow moving beetle. What is this thing supposed to be? It kind of looks like. It looks like it should be like some undersea creature. I mean, it just looks like an, a bronze beetle. That floats? <laughs> yes. And it has. And it apparently has. And apparently has um, rocket for, rockets for an ass. That's pretty dope. I'd want that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know. We don't even know what kind of what kind of fuel it uses. I don't care. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> well, either way, they're invincible until you get the screw attack. I can propel. And that super that super missile was mock was um teasing me there. I can propel myself to school through my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where's Linkus on a school bus? Huh? Just another day, and obviously, see a man like the man just like rocketing his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is the si this is the energy tank that I secrets broke for. I wish I wish I could do it as easily as you could. <laughs> uh, again, lots and lots of practice. You gotta basically with the with the bombs. It, it's kind of hard to explain to you. Can, I can, it's a timing thing. First, you gotta plant the bomb, and then um, plant the bomb. Wait, wait, you have to wait like a split second, or maybe like maybe like two frames for those um, frame frame counting people. 
and then as soon as as soon as you're about to launch, um, hit the bomb bump, hit the bomb button again, and keep doing that rhythmatically to uh, to get know, to your to, destination. To, yeah, to constantly keep yourself going up. It's it's a it's slow so that if there's if there's enemies that fly above you, they're gonna interrupt you because of knockback. So watch out for that. What's, what's with that background? Are those stairs? Uh, they look like... They kind of look like stairs. I kind of see it. Um, yeah. I can't... Yeah, I, I can't really tell. It kind of looks like stairs, but at the same time, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, this game has cutscenes. Very selectively, though. And very short ones, too. And here's an error here. I don't know why I did this, but... You're supposed to see Samus in her eye. <laughs> Maybe you're emulate. Were you playing it on an emulator? Uh, yes. Uh, maybe it's screwed up or something. I forgot what that symbol signifies, but I think it needs uh, to Uh, yeah, I think we need screw attack. Alright, so, um, there's another person, I think his name is Shadow Mario 3. He, uh, did a, he did a speed run with this game, and, um, he did a sequence break to get the super missile and the speed booster a lot much earlier from here, but... But um, but you are not him. <laughs> I am not him. So, because <laughs> if he, if if it was shot, if, if I had the speed booster here, I would have had the super missile by like you know, right after this section. Hmm. But I decided I decided fuck that. I'm doing that later. <laughs> I do like the music to this game though. It's much yeah. It's much more because uh, they have more instruments. <laughs> well yeah, it, it should sound better than the NES version. There's something wrong if it doesn't. Mm, yeah. I, I, I think if you complete this game on the hardest difficulty with 100%, you can unlock like a classic mode. What does that do? Um, classic mode. You can play the original Metroid. Uh, like oh yeah, 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 right. Yeah, you can. I never actually uh, did that though. <laughs> neither did I. Hard mode. Yeah, Shadow Mario 3. You did hard mode. Hard mode. Okay. So in hard mode, um, you you get less you get um you get uh, less amounts from your upgrades, and um, like basically if you got basically or you get half you get half the upgrades that you that you actually um in your total. So for example, if you took an energy tank, you instead of getting a hundred uh, hundred or ninety nine, you'll get um you only get half of that, so fifty. Hmm. I see. Uh, and in fact, each energy tank only is only a total of fifty each. Oh wow. And the missile tanks, you only get two from each. No, no, I think you get either two or three, and two or three, and the super missiles, you only get one. Damn. Yeah, so very limited shit. Very limited shit. And oh, and enemies do deal twice as much damage. I always and did like the theme for picking up unknown items. It kind of, it's kind of creepy. I understand they're trying to make it mysterious, but it creeped me out a bit. So does Samus's suit is Samus's suit what scans the item? Yes, she huh. has a built-in scanner. Are you bullshitting, or do you actually know that? Well, she seems a. Well, I'd assume she does. <laughs> or maybe well, it's the or maybe it's the visor that scans it. Most likely, actually, now that I say that, most likely that. Uh, this is BS. Like. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate this too. I don't understand, like. I think I'm you have to build up some momentum, like some slight momentum, by like going to the other side and try to run. Cause that, that's what I usually do. Cause you need to get there before the power grip. I understand if you, I understand if you have the power grip at that time, but nah, like that's really annoying. That's the thing I hate about coming out of like jumping out of water. All right. Oh, this is the section where you can seek and break for the super missile, but I do that later. Um, no, it's just the fact that um, when you jump out of water, like Samus doesn't jump nearly as high. As she, you know, she doesn't like get a second. You know, boost in her height for jumping out of water. In fact, you jump almost back. You almost you jump back. You drop back in almost immediately. Yeah. Very annoying. Especially sections where you fuck up and you're, and you're surrounded by enemies. <laughs> yeah, that 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 can drain your health really fast. Ah, <laughs> uh, and I try to I try to be like Shadow Mario Three and I fucked up. Jerome, the thing about playing games is that you have to have your own identity. <laughs> But I want to be badass. But you can be badass. You just got to be badass in your own persona. But everybody wants to be like Batman. Everyone wants to lose their parents. 
Um, some people, yes. If they're abusive. Well then, I'm sorry to hear that. So, okay, so I just gotta wonder, why do I need an upgrade to grab onto ledges? Because Samus. But, why? Because Samus. I mean, everybody else can do it. Master Chief can do it, Mega Man can do it. Mario can do it. Almost any other human being on the planet can do it. <laughs> <laughs> but not Samus. But not, Sa but not Samus. Why, Samus, why? Anyway, back to Nordmere. They force you they force you to go up there, so that's not really optional. Yeah, it, although I'm pretty I'm pretty sure someone found a way. Actually, there's a person that I forgot whose name was. He did a YouTube video on that doing some like pure sequence breaking for the entire game. Like he skipped out on some up some mandatory upgrades. How the hell did he manage to do that? Um through lots of precision, that's for sure. Not like not not through like uh, you know, tool assist or anything like that. He did it on his own. Oh, I see. Oh, so tool assisted. Okay. Oh, wait, no, no, he didn't. He, my bad. He didn't do it with tools assisted. Yeah. Huh. I'd like to see that, actually. Uh, let's see if I can find him, actually. Because at this point, I'm just grabbing some items along the way to the next destination. There's not, there's not many bosses in this game. Yeah, there's only, like, I think, four. Wait, let me, let me think. Uh, Kraid, Ridley, all... MB... And then Meta Ridley. Yeah, because they're being they're staying true to like the actual game. Yeah, so there's really there's really only four. <laughs> hmm. Although the, although they're not they're not they're not as the same as they were in the original. <laughs> well, of <laughs> course. Although, although you'd be seeing a two foot Ridley <laughs> standing <from> with, <laughs> a <beer belly. laughs> with with a beer belly, no less. With a beer belly. Or even a two, or even a two-foot crate, like like Trey got a badass power upgrade. <laughs> and then the remake, like Jesus Christ. I do like how in Super Metroid though they have a min uh, they have a homage to the original crate with the mini crate. Yeah, why do they do? They really just do that for shits and giggles. Most likely. Because I was because every time I beat Kray, I always assumed that he shrank he shrank it to height in an attempt to to get revenge on Samus, but she but Samus just blasted him with a super missile. He'd be he'd be have to be really stupid to think that he'd have a better chance when he's smaller. <laughs> like maybe like maybe she'll miss. Oh. <laughs> she had the ability to shoot down. I forgot about the upgrade. Oh, it's not, okay, that's not a you know that's not a legitimate upgrade. <laughs> they just they just programmed that for her. Well, to Samus, it might as well be an upgrade. The ability to shoot diagonally. Yes. Then again, then again, Me Me then again, Mega Man can't do that, so. He can even shoot through walls right away. He can shoot through walls, but he can't aim at any other way in sec except <laughs> in front of him. So if you stand behind Mega Man, unless he turns around, you're screwed. He's screwed. Unless he uses the metal blades, then you're fucked. Which is still bullshit, by the way. That he can <laughs> throw that in any direction, but he can't shoot in any <laughs> other direction. <laughs> because it's, it's throwing instead of shooting. That's still bullshit. Anyway, I got the ice beam. Base can do it. I'm sure Mega Man can tilt his gun up and down. Wait, I forgot. X, can X actually t can X actually aim up? Well, he can aim up. I know that. Aim up? I don't remember. Him doing wait, that. can he? No, wait, no. no. What the hell am I saying? No, he can't. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> God damn it, Doctor Light. Why would you program so many robots with such a without such basic functionality? <laughs> it's like I didn't I didn't patch. I I, it's like I I meant to, I actually have a patch for that, but I keep forgetting to give it to him. He patented it, but forgot about it. He never renewed the copyright. <laughs> turns on, turns on. Mega Man's program is actually uh, trial. <laughs> it's trial. It's trial <laughs> software. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he, he didn't. <laughs> at least he, he, he didn't know about torrents at the time. <laughs> well, at least he has Norton. That's true. Well, no, he has like one of the shittiest antiviruses. No, <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Got something better. God damn it. Let's save here. You're telling I, I, you're telling us that like we have any influence of whether or not you save or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I do the say I do the say is just to um, actually as yeah, a way to help uh, transition, 
you know, how to transition, to make, you know, help with transitions, because it's, um... Well, it's just easier to do it that way. It's just easier to do, because it's really, because for a Metro game, it's really hard to tell where it's just, oh, crap. Yeah, and you fucked up. Uh, yeah, just do that. <laughs> Get your ass out here. Now freeze. Now be my stool. <laughs> Did you really need that recharge? <laughs> um. Yes, yeah, so I like I like my <laughs> I like my numbers at perfection. <laughs> you're you're one of those kids that was in high school who would settle for nothing less than an A, and if you got an A, you'd cry, right? I mean, if you got a B, you'd cry, right? No, that's Tyron. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean. It, it, in video games, I try to go. I, I at least try to go for the best rank. <laughs> Unless the game expects me to do something perfect, and I just hit fuck it. What are those things? Those purple things? Um, they the spiky thing, the spiky things except on fire. They look derpy as all hell. Actually, actually another thing too, like because the way how the sprites are drawn here, um. Yeah, some of the pixels just make them look really weird. Especially when they're on angles. Out of my way, coming through. Sam's is here. Fuck off. Die. Dro, what did he ever do to you? He was pushing me back. Think about the creatures, Dro. Think about the creatures. Oh, they'll respawn once I go back to the room. Ah, uh, so you're one of those guys. Except that, except that one, <laughs> except that one screw was in that one little, in one particular room. He was the only species alive, and I killed it. <laughs> Just like Samus. Well, I am Samus, so it's okay. Anyway, we'll see you in the next part, ladies and gentlemen.